President Trump says he may bring forward a new immigration executive order to enforce America's homeland security, but there's still no clarity on what he's planning. The administration will continue to argue for the temporary ban on migrants from seven countries that's been blocked by federal judges. Well, earlier I spoke to Dr. Larry Sabato, who's professor of politics at the University of Virginia, and I asked him whether he expected the president to introduce a new executive order. That appears to be the path the Trump administration has chosen. Uh, they may still appeal the earlier court decisions to the Supreme Court, but I think they're more likely to issue a new executive order. And if they do do that, how different will it have to be from the first order to avoid legal challenges? It must be substantially different. It will have to be much more carefully and narrowly tailored than the first one. And even that may not pass muster in the courts. We'll just have to see. Can a president effectively just keep issuing executive orders? How does it work? Yes, a uh, president can issue a new executive order at any time. He can revoke an executive order at any time. So this could continue for quite some time. It could be a game of ping pong. However, at some point, it's going to be obvious to the courts uh, the game that he's playing. And uh, there could be some uh, reaction from the courts that would be uh, very unpleasant for the president. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, holding contempt. And uh, that would lead to potentially an effort by Democrats to impeach. They don't have a majority in either House of Congress, so it wouldn't go anywhere. But the publicity would be uh, certainly something that President Trump would, would one presume, uh, prefer to avoid. I appreciate you don't have a crystal ball, but I mean, it would be somewhat extraordinary if the president was to be impeached over this. Is that really a possibility? Not as long as the Republicans control both houses of Congress, and they do at present. So it's simply an opportunity for Democrats uh, and maybe some Republicans who are alienated from Trump to state their case and to attract attention. A few congressmen have already broached the subject, but we're only three weeks into the Trump presidency. This is something for much later in the term. I understand. What is the, if anything, is the precedent for all of this? Have we seen presidents before issuing executive orders which have then been challenged in the courts? Occasionally it has happened. Nothing as controversial as this executive order and never as early in a presidency as this. Uh, this has been quite a shock to everybody, although if you follow Trump's career, I don't know why it has been a shock. When you say a shock to everybody, I am interested in how this is playing with the population at large in America, because President Trump himself has tweeted, hasn't he, that the, he thinks this is one of his most popular policies. Well, he's simply wrong if you care about facts, and uh, sometimes the Trump tweets have no relationship with facts. Every survey that has been taken by an independent nonpartisan agency has shown that a majority of Americans or a solid plurality oppose the president's executive order and his decision in this particular case. Uh, there's no question that many of Trump's supporters and probably a solid majority of Republicans favor what he is doing. But let's remember, he lost the popular vote substantially. He got 46 percent of the vote, and I've seen no evidence that this executive order Indeed, many of the actions that Trump has taken uh, have the support of more than 46 percent. Generally, they have less than 46 percent support. Meanwhile, President Trump is hosting the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe this weekend. He's the first world leader to ride on Air Force One during the uh, new president's uh, leadership. He's planning on two rounds of golf with him. He's getting to spend quite a lot of time with him. Is this a sign, do you think, that Mr. Trump is prioritizing building links with Asian powers rather than European ones? Well, let's remember that Prime Minister Abe is simply traveling along a trail blazed by Prime Minister Theresa May. Uh, she decided to get in early to see uh, President Trump very quickly, to cozy up to him, uh, to stroke his rather large ego. And it worked for her, at least in terms of the relationship with Trump. It caused uh, problems in Britain. As far as Prime Minister Abe is concerned, he wants to make sure that he doesn't end up like China or Mexico uh, in the crosshairs uh, of the Trump administration.
And a final question, have you seen the handshake uh, between the two leaders, Dr Sabato? Because it does appear at the end that Shinzo Abe, after a, being clutched fervently by the hand by the president, um, somewhat rolls his eyes. I wondered how you interpreted that. <laughs> well, uh, you'd be surprised how many millions of people roll their eyes uh, when they see President Trump, whether they're embraced by him or not. <laughs> you said it. Dr. Larry Sabato uh, at the University of Virginia. Good to talk to you. Thanks.